In this help tutorial, we look at graphing using the parabola tool. The parabola tool has two options. One option lets you graph a parabola that opens up or down. The other option lets you graph a parabola that opens right or left. If we choose this first option, we graph a parabola that opens up or down depending on the placement of the second point. If we choose the second option, we can graph a parabola that opens to the right or to the left, again depending on where we place the second point. In this case, we have a parabola that opens up. To use the GraphPad parabola tool, we need to know both the vertex and a point on the parabola. In this case, we know the vertex is at 0, negative 3, and we know that another point on the parabola is at 1, comma 1. So I choose the parabola, I put the vertex at 0, negative 3, and click to make a point, and then I put another point on the parabola at 1, comma 1 click outside the parabola to prepare the graph to submit for grading. Remember you can click on the parabola to edit the fine details at the bottom of the page. You must graph a vertex and a point before you're allowed to edit these details. Now let's do an example that's a bit more difficult to graph. This is a parabola that opens to the right. From some previous calculations, I've discovered the vertex is at 4.95 comma negative 0.9, and I've found another point on the parabola is at 11 negative 2. From the graph pad, I choose the tool that opens left to right. I begin by plotting the vertex, and I'm going to plot it around 5 negative 1. Now I know this isn't accurate, but I'm going to change it in the fine detail editor as soon as I plot another point. The other point I'm going to plot is at 11 negative 2. Now that I have those two points plotted, I can go into this fine detail editor and change this to 4.95 and negative 0.9. Do remember that you have to have two points plotted before you can use the fine detail editor. Click outside the graph to get the graph ready to submit for grading.